And what is the state of our system here? Well, it's in a, a state of disrepair to some extent. A candid assessment from the head of the Regional Transportation Authority about the trains and buses in the Chicago area. Some of the rail cars that are from, you know, the Eisenhower administration. So given the age of the vehicles, <laughs> perhaps scenes like this should not be a surprise. We could smell smoke. Everybody seemed to get off, but not a lot of info. A Metro Milwaukee District North train on fire. Passengers forced out in the cold. Listen to how the Metro CEO described the situation this morning. It was a catastrophic engine failure. And here's what we learned about that smoking train. It's been in service for six or seven years. But that doesn't mean the locomotive is six or seven years old. Metro bought it used. The engine is from 1983, so it's really 35 years old. It was actually uh, purchased from Amtrak after they retired it. Buying older locomotives is far from unusual for Metra. It's actually in the process of adding 24 used ones to the fleet right now. Why buy older trains? Well, it's quite honestly, without a capital bill right now, we have really no mechanism to fund the newer stuff. Newer locomotives right now are quite pricey. We're getting about a five to one new compared to used so we're buying five used for what one new would cost right now mechanical came on board they're looking at the engine also monday a three-hour delay on the heritage corridor line that train another aging locomotive that suffered engine failure it's a cast off from canada that's 30 years old this train line is late. I am late to work almost every day. Metro says the answer is more money and lots of it. And how much do you need? Well, we're looking at a $5 billion ask. Metro plans to add as many as 42 more locomotives that are used to its fleet early next year. I'm told there could be a few brand new engines in there, but the prospects and the pricing are still under review right now. I'm Lauren Victor reporting live in the South Loop, CBS 2 News. Rob. Yeah, an aging fleet for sure there, Lauren. Thank you.